welcome back everyone. Last week we looked at the topic of fear and you sent in some pictures and comments. So let's start with that and have a look. Last week we asked you to stop and to listen to the world around you. This week we will focus on being kind to ourselves and to others. So let's get started. I've learned how to be in the present. How? asked the boy. I find a quiet spot, shut my eyes and breathe. That's good and then? Then I focus. What do you focus on? Cake, said the mole. Isn't it odd we can only see our outsides, but nearly everything happens on the inside. Be careful not to fall. fall. So much beauty we need to look after. Being kind to yourself is one of the greatest kindnesses, said the mole. We often wait for kindness, but being kind to yourself can start now said the mole. Often, the hardest person to forgive is yourself. Sometimes I feel lost, said the boy. Me too, said the mole. But we love you and love brings you home. I think everyone is just trying to get home, said the mole. Hi everyone, I hope you enjoyed the story this week. Um, this part of the book has reminded us about kindness and forgiveness. And this week I want to speak to the children and the adults watching uh, with us about these things. Kindness is something we can all do. And it's actually hugely important to be kind to ourselves, to take time to pay attention to what we say to ourselves and who we are on the inside and to realise we can often give ourselves a really, really hard time. We need reminding that we do get some things wrong, but some things very right as well. I wonder if by being kind to ourselves that we can learn also to be quick to forgive ourselves when we don't quite get it right. And just like kindness, if we practice forgiveness with ourselves, then it might become much easier to forgive others. If we make a habit of forgiving ourselves quickly, it will be easier at those times when we need to forgive others too. At the end of the story this week, the boy says that sometimes he feels lost and the mole lets the boy know that they love him and that's what really matters. I think we can all feel a bit lost sometimes and need the reassurance of those around us to let us know that they love us. A bit like now, when things might feel a bit different and more uncertain. There was so much to think about this week, but I wanted to give you some ideas this week on how to be kind to yourself, how to forgive yourself, and how to spot those around you who love you. So this week, I'd like children, parents, grandparents, carers, uh, and teachers to try this task. Do you ever hear in your head, I can't, or I'm not good enough? Maybe you hear this when you're trying something new when you're asked to sing out loud, or when you feel there's just not enough time to do all the tasks and all the things you're expected to do. Just because you think you can't do it, giving yourself a hard time because you're not the best or not as good as someone else is at it. What you're really doing is using your mind to tell yourself things which are unkind and not always true. So let's practice. Instead of telling yourself you can't, or I'm not good enough, that you close your eyes and imagine someone you love encouraging you. What would they be telling you? Now talk to yourself in your mind in the same kind way that they did. For example, tell yourself how it's okay to try many, many times when doing something new and tell yourself to not put such high expectations on yourself. Think of the kind words you would say to a friend who needs your help and say those same kind words to yourself. We would love to hear from you and maybe from those you live with or your teachers about how they got on with the task this week. 
do you have some kind of encouraging words which someone else might benefit from hearing right now? Good speaking to you again. <laughs>